So yesterday I pinpointed some area of confluence where we could be possibly hitting, which was around 14,000, 15,000. But now since the price of Bitcoin is again above this 20,000 resistance line, is this lower target going to be invalid? Or is this just a temporary relief rally before price again starts breaking into the downward duration? I want to show you one chart which is also pointing us maybe the bottom is not in here. Not just only because of this capitulation phase which we talked on my yesterday video. We found out that each and every impulsive move in our marker phase first we always had an accumulation phase and also ended the capitulation phase. So that's why in our case, in a bigger time frame, the capitulation phase had just started. And not just only that, the price of Bitcoin has also lost the support from this 200 weekly SMA because we have found out that in the past price action, this 200 weekly SMA has always been one of the strongest line of support and each and every retracement around that area. After that, we have seen a very nice impulsive movement. But in our case, this 200 weekly SMA has been broken and the price of Bitcoin has also just started this capitulation phase. So that's why I want you to be very careful because any sort of impulsive movement here in the media short term could be a fake out. So that's why I want you to be very careful and please do not over leverage yourself at this current stage because yesterday I showed you with so many different examples that 14,000, 15,000 could be on the line. But today I am going to show you another bigger scenario which is pointing us the bottom might not be in yet until we reach around this 14,000, 15,000 price area. Let me show you here. Now let me add this one another scenario which is also pointing us that maybe the bottom is not in yet even though we are seeing this weekly candle being bullish but please remember this kind of relief rally in a downtrend is very very common because if you follow the price action of bitcoin we have been seeing weeks and weeks of downward movement so this impulsive movement is nothing exciting until it breaks certain line of resistance which is between 22,000 to 24,700 range if the price of bitcoin is going to break above that then we are over guys this train here is ready for this new impulsive movement which could bring the price around this 30,000 price area but for now as long as we are going to remain below this 22,000 to 24,700 range between that area this kind of movement an impulsive movement could be turning out into a fake out now let me show you this adam and eve or double top type of formation which is playing out here in a weekly time frame i am using this log scale just for your information if you look at this price action you can see a very very similar scenario is unfolding which is pointing us that maybe this here is actually an adam eve pattern right if you look at this carefully guys you will see the price of bitcoin does looks like it is forming this adam eve here in a weekly time frame as well right and according to this adam eve we can see very clearly the price of bitcoin if it is going to follow this exact pattern just like as shown here in the example because the support line here has already been broken and price of bitcoin has also started this downward rally so if this is going to be an adam eve pattern a retest which has already happened here you can see a retest which has already happened got rejected and now the train is also in a downward movement if this is going to play out then you can see guys according to this top till the bottom area looking at this as an atomy pattern then you can see the lower target is somewhere between 14,000 to 15,000 area guys now you know why i was calling this 14,000 15,000 could be on the line maybe it's not going to happen tomorrow day after tomorrow week even next month this train continuation could last longer i mean it could show you months of range bound and price slowly hitting towards this lower target before showing this actual train direction so that's why that's why please be careful any sort of impulsive movement here in the media short term until certain line of support or resistance is going to get broken do not let this fool you not just only this if you are aware yesterday we also talked about the cpi indicator and now things are looking very very interesting let me show you that here before i switch into other chart i just want to make you aware we have up to five thousand one hundred fifty dollar 
crypto exchange bonus available for you in the description down below. Famex is giving around $4,100 bonus after your initial deposit and Bybit around $1,050 bonus. So if you are an experienced trader, if you want to take advantage of this market volatility, the link is provided in the description down below. So feel free to check it out. Now, let's switch the chart. Now, if we look at this CPI indicator, I want to talk about this very, very interesting scenario which is playing out right now. According to the CPI indicator, if you look at the price action of Bitcoin, we are showing this bullishness. But this bullishness, as I've been very clear, is only going to be valid once we overcome this obstacle between 24,700 area. Because if we do manage to find support above the CPI line, the July CPI line, then only I am going to talk about this bullish scenario where we are going to get gravitated around this 28,000 to 30,000 price area because we are aware even though this here was a VCPR I mean a VCPR gets formed when the price chooses a trend direction without touching any of the CPI line so in most of the cases whenever the price of Bitcoin has started this movement without touching any of the CPI line what has happened in more than 90% of cases the price has shown this gravitation right touching any of the CPI line and only deciding after that so in our case since this is still a VCPR there is a probability of price also showing further movement here towards this 21,000 at least 21,400 range before choosing a trend duration because if we come around that area then we will be also forming this double bottom type of price formation and this area the bottom CPI line is also the neckline from this double bottom so if we do manage to overcome this obstacle which is around 21,500 in the media short term then we could be also heading towards this central CPI line which is lying around 23,000 and even this 24,700 once we find support above it. Now let me add another formation which is pointing us a bit different scenario. What I mean by that if I would add this falling trend line here in this manner you can see this falling trend line here in the media short term is one of the strongest line of resistance in a daily time frame whenever the price of bitcoin has tested the resistance around this falling trend line after that we have seen price retracement in our case this is exactly where we are also getting rejection so what does this mean if we are going to invalid this bullish scenario then we have to be careful because this could be also looked as a descending triangle and if this descending triangle scenario is going to play out then you can see the price target here to the downside after this consolidation here let's see if we are going to see this rejection then we could be showing another movement here in this manner and then breaking it to the downside and if this trend continuation is going to happen like this forming after forming this descending triangle which is considered as a very scenario you can see the lower target is somewhere around 14,800 so now according to the CPR for this July month, you can see the lower target, the monthly S1 line is also lying around 14,000 area. And according to this descending triangle, the lower target is also around 14,000 area. And also from this Adam Eve pattern, the lower target is around 14,000 to 15,000 area. So that's why guys, now you can see so many confluence around this 14 to 15,000 range. So that's why I strongly believe until the price of Bitcoin is not going to break above this key line of resistance between 21,000 to 24,700 range, this line is still valid and we have to be very, very careful. And beside this example, if you also look at this in a four hour time frame, yesterday we talked about this one very, very interesting scenario, which has pointed out that each and every time the price of Bitcoin in a downtrend has followed this rising trend line and tested the support around it, as soon as we fail to find support, we have this bigger price retracement here a very similar scenario unfolded it was falling this rising trend line left the support and as soon as we fail to find support at this rising trend line just like here right we had this bigger price retracement another smaller rising trend line price was holding it but once we lost the support we had this bigger price retracement so in our case if you look at this current stage you can see a very similar scenarios unfolding where the price of Bitcoin is falling this rising trend line. So 
we have to be very very careful because in the past price action whenever the price has tested the rising trend line we have found support so if this is going to be a movement in this manner we are okay with that until we break certain line of resistance or support but if we fail to find support at this rising trend line then we have to be very careful because failing to find support at this rising trend line could trigger a bigger sell-off and if that is going to happen then I believe this target between 14,000 and 15,000 will be also tested. For now, for the medium short term, as long as we are holding this line between this 19,000 to 18,500, the price of Bitcoin is going to show more of a range bound type of scenario. And now, if you would say, Anoop, why is this resistance between 21,000 and 24,000 is so important for us? Is the CPI line the only reason? No, guys. If you have watched my video from yesterday, we talked about this descending channel where the price of Bitcoin has found support each and every time it tested the lower line area, just like here, right? But you can see after some consolidation and also after reaching around the upper line area from the descending channel, what has happened? We have seen a bigger price retracement forming this lower highs, lower lows, continuation pattern type of scenario so that is also one reason and along with that along with that this indicator this sale indicator is also going to act as a line of resistance so if we look at the sale indicator carefully each and every time the price of bitcoin approach around this indicator we got a resistance and then a bigger price retracement so that's why you can see this line is also around 24,000, the upper line area from the descending channel and this indicator this sale indicator resistance is also between 21,000 to 24,000 price area so that's why now you can see this line the resistance around 21,000 to 24,700 is a very very important resistance line for us so until we are not going to break above it any sort of impulsive movement here in the media short term could be turning out as a fake out just like here right consolidation breakout fail to break off of this key level of resistance and then bigger price retracement. so that is something what could be also playing out here so we have to be very very careful so these are some of the quick update that i wanted to share with you in today's video if you enjoyed my work guys then please destroy that like button and also for those individuals watching this for the first time hit that subscribe button and the bell so by saying this i'm signing out my name is anoop bye bye